Well, I'm joined here in the studio by James Andre, who's keeping a close eye, as we all are, on all those exciting pictures coming out of uh, the United States at the moment from a sent by NASA. Can you tell us a bit more about what we can expect from today's live stream? Well, what we are expecting is basically four new images. Basically, there were supposed to be five in the first place. Everything was supposed to happen today, but indeed, the Americans decided to break that embargo. And so, indeed, yeah, we are waiting for uh, four other pictures uh, that you can expect to be very beautiful, because, of course, that is one of the objectives at this stage, which is, in a sense, to um, to show off the capabilities of uh, this new uh, telescope, the James Webb, of course. Now, uh, there is... We are expecting pictures of uh, the Southern Ring Nebula, which is a shell of gas ejected from a dying star about 2,000 light years. Uh, from here, uh, the Carina Nebula, which is a huge swirling expanse of gas and stars, included some of the most massive and potentially explosive star systems in the Milky Way. And uh, we are also expecting pictures of the Stevens Quintet, uh, which is a tight cluster of galaxies some 290 million light years from here in the constellation of Peg Pegasus. And and we are expecting a detailed spectrum of an exoplanet known as WASP-96b. Now, I'd say the three first ones are very much designed for the wider public because they are pictures of objects that have already been photographed by previous uh, space telescopes, such as Hubble, of course. Uh, but uh, what we're expecting to see today is much more detail, much more color, uh, and of course, to be able to measure the difference. The fourth uh, element, which is uh, this, uh, this uh, spectrum uh, of an exoplanet, that is more to show off the capabilities of this new tool to the scientific community, because that, of course, is something that will not be able to be read by lesser mortals such as ourselves. But for experts, uh, that will show off the capacity of uh, this new tool to really delve into deep space and discover things such as, for example, the composition of the atmosphere of a planet, what type of, uh, you know, uh, what's it called, precise uh, elements you have there. And if, for example, you could detect the presence or at least the conditions for life to appear. Okay, yeah, actually, and there was something that astronomers were saying yesterday and experts in this field that they could look at that one photograph that was released yesterday for months, years, and they'd still be discovering uh, new things in it. Um, it was interesting that yesterday's picture was revealed by President Biden, as you said, that sneak peek. And it does show, doesn't it, the US sort of soft power. Uh, and also, it does underline the significance, doesn't it, of these pictures? Now, absolutely. These pictures are very significant. You were talking about how scientists will be able to watch, look at that picture for, for hours. For now, for example, we don't know yet if that picture has broken the record of uh, the most distant and oldest galaxy uh, to ever have been observed. That was held until now by Hubble, who uh, discovered a galaxy uh, named GNZ11, which was 12.3 billion light years from Earth. Now, we are expecting James Webb, the new telescope, to break that record over and over and over again in the months to come. But yes, there is much more detail. There are so many more things to discover in that picture. And of course, it's a very beautiful picture. And it speaks to everyone. You see distant galaxies. And this is something uh, that, indeed, uh, Joe Biden wanted to use politically straight away because he broke an embargo. There was an agreement between the ESA, which is the European Space Agency, NASA and the Canadian Space Agency to come up with these pictures today, round about now in 15 minutes. And indeed, uh, the American president decided to break that embargo to show a sneak peek of that picture, because politically, obviously, there's a lot of capital to be taken. There's a lot of pride for the American people. Of course, NASA is a key architect of uh, this incredible scientific feat. But still, I can tell you that people are not very happy at ESA, for example, today. And there have been a lot of negative comments and they're feeling that they've been um, you know, mistreated in this business. OK, well, thank you very much indeed for that. James, Andre, uh, you'll be with me uh, as those pictures get live streamed and we'll be talking more about the telescope, how it works, uh, how much it costs, amongst other things. So thanks for that, James.